It was a celebration for a 10-year-old girl who's beat the odds at Norton Children's not once, but twice. And today, Dixie Robertson's family is hoping she can do it again. Brooke Hash and photojournalist Jessica Farley share the bittersweet reason behind today's big slime. One, two, three, slime! In the midst of a heat wave, this was the moment 10-year-old Dixie Robertson felt like a kid again. Showering her favorite doctors and nurses with pink and blue slime. So many people showed up today on a very hot day. Crowded in the shade of the healing garden at Norton Children's Hospital until it was their turn to make a splash. <laughs> Dixie, however quiet, was all smiles. Shy is not a word I would ever use to describe Dixie. Um, in this environment, she doesn't feel well this week, so really she kind of rallied to come out here and celebrate with us. Dixie on a normal day that is not surrounded by strangers um, or a big crowd of people supporting her is funny and bubbly and outgoing, and it's all about slime. If you know her in the hospital, you know all she wants to do is make slime all the time. Her journey here started nine months ago when a lump in her leg came back as a rare form of cancer called Ewing sarcoma. She had surgery in March to remove the tumor, and at one point, uh, we thought we were cancer free. And then it hit again in July, days after her 10th birthday, this time in her brain. They immediately went into surgery. That one was just on the surface, but unfortunately this past Monday and uh, we found out that there was another tumor that had surfaced. Along with tumors in her lungs. With no time to waste, Dixie's parents knew there was one wish they needed to fulfill. We were already a family. But Dixie and her older sister Montana have never shared their stepdad's name, despite being there from day one. A last name was something that meant something to them and I wanted to let them make that choice. Right. And uh, she just gave me a great big hug. They would talked about an adoption over the last few months, but with her most recent diagnosis, expedited the process, putting pen to paper this week. Monday was the official day when I heard um, that they were rushing that adoption and making sure it was gonna happen. She was so proud to tell me. She wasn't feeling well the other day and she told me it went through, I got adopted. Um, and I asked her, how did you celebrate that adoption? Like, this is a big thing your family's been working towards for so long. And that was when she said, well, we came to the hospital. We came here right after that court um, appointment to sign the paperwork. And so that's when I was like, we have to do something. This is a huge thing your family has been working towards. So it needs to be celebrated. A bittersweet celebration in this healing place meant for both patients and their caregivers. Staff see really hard things every day. Um, so it can be nice to have a little break from the hard and get down and see a kid in their best moments, having so much fun sliming everybody. Ironically, dad was the only one spared. I want to do it. You want what? You want to do? Maybe next time, Dixie. We are just at a point now where we're like, okay, we beat two odds. We can go for a third one. So we're going to keep fighting and keep pushing for Miss Dixie because it's her life is worth it. In Louisville with photojournalist Jessica Farley, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, the Robertsons tell us that they hope with some radiation, Dixie will be able to go home soon and get treatment there. She was able to go to school just last week with all of her classmates in E-Town. The family saying they are counting every blessing.